Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Stargirl Season 3 and to do with the Arrowverse, because we're going to be going over an interview that Breck Basinger, the star of Stargirl, obviously Stargirl herself, actually did with Looper. That's going to be in the description below, we're going to be talking about it, there is a lot to break down in this article, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this interview has a lot of questions, and Breck gives some very good answers. For a lot of it, they talk about Stargirl and the future of Stargirl, but there is a specific section of the article that I want to break down personally, because I'm still a little bit behind on Stargirl, so I don't really want to talk about this current season, because I really do need to catch up Like later this week. I have some free time, that is my plan, to watch the latest episodes of Stargirl, so I can start making more videos on the new season. But for now, we're going to be talking about this segment, and it's called The Future of Stargirl and the CW, which I think you guys are going to find really interesting. So please be sure to watch this entire video. Don't go anywhere. And remember, leaving a like and a comment really helps out getting this video to people because the YouTube algorithm sucks. But anyway, that's a little rant out of the way. Let's go on to talk about this Looper article and what it has to say. So Looper asks, Brett Basinger, with most of the CW's DC shows gone or ending, the future of crossovers is up in the air. Stargirl has mostly been separated from the rest of the shows in the past, but are there any remaining shows that you'd love to appear on? Which actors and characters would you most like to team up with or against? Now, I have to say this before she actually answers the question and I read it out. Stargirl, it seems, is the most open show for crossovers right now, so there is definitely a high chance that if they want to do crossovers, there is actually going to be a chance of future crossovers. But Breck answers this question by saying, Superman Lois, tone-wise, that's her choice. She says, I can totally see our shows mixing. Superman's one of the most iconic superheroes ever. It'll be really cool for Stargirl and Superman to work together. And that is her answer. So, yeah. She picks Superman Lois. I would say that is a very good pick. I think it would be an awesome crossover to see Superman Lois and the rest of the Superman Lois team crossing over with the people in Stargirl. I would be totally in for that. And like I said before, there's been plans for past Stargirl crossovers. There's been mentions of maybe a Flash Stargirl crossover. There was mention of a Supergirl Stargirl crossover. But I think right now, there is no logistical barrier to doing a crossover with a show like Superman Lois. I think the real barrier is in fact the people running Superman Lois, that being Todd Helbing, because he's pretty adamant on Superman Lois staying in its own world, creating this new entirely different place that we've been calling the Superverse recently. So they are pretty set on that, so I would say it's probably unlikely we're going to get a Stargirl crossover with Superman Lois anytime soon. But it should be mentioned, I don't think this sentiment that Todd Helbing goes by is shared by like the entire cast and people behind the scenes. So there's definitely people pushing for crossovers, because recently at a Comic Con event in Canada at Fan Expo, Elizabeth Tullock obviously plays Lois and... Tyler Hecklin, who plays Superman, they express interest in crossing over with Supergirl, somehow getting Melissa back, and also crossing over with The Flash. So that is something that they have in the back of their minds, just like how Breck Basinger wants to cross over with Superman Lois, and obviously she's talking about like the shows that are still on right now, because that's what the question was about. Okay, so the next question is this. Has there been any talk on how the CW merger might affect the future of the show? Do you know if the writers have taken this into consideration that this season, when it comes to the season finale and planning for the future, she says, We're so lucky. So many things are up in the air and we keep having our fingers crossed. But our showrunner definitely predicted the end where regardless of the future fans can feel happy and that they've got a good ending either way. So there you go. It seems maybe Jeff Johns got a heads up about some of the other shows coming to an end. And it seems, according to Breck, that Stargirl's season finale is actually going to be a good one. And if, potentially, the new owners of the CW, or the majority stakeholders, that being Next Star that just recently took over, they could potentially cancel the show, or they could end the show, if it's not 
entirely profitable for them because they're thinking all about profits. So if it does end, it seems according to Brick, this ending would be a pretty good ending. And it seems this kind of style of ending the season as if it could be your last season is an ongoing thing and an ongoing worry for everyone creating shows on the CW. Because look at The Flash. Eric Wallace has been doing that for years now. He's been talking about it for like the past two years. And the fact that he's creating these endings that could be season finales and then he's filming extra sort of tidbits at the end just so we can have a cliffhanger if the show is renewed. So it's definitely a worry for the future of the Arrowverse and the future of CW shows in general. But let's move on to the last question that Breck was asked by Looper. So they say, that's awesome. The ending of the Arrowverse as we know it also leaves the potential for actors and characters from the shows that have ended to appear in the remaining shows in some capacity. Are there any Arrowverse characters or actors you'd love to see on Stargirl if the writers figured out a way to make it work? So Breck says, from the very beginning, I said I've wanted Supergirl and Stargirl to team up because they would be the most iconic female power duo. I feel like they would get along and push each other and support each other. From the very beginning, I said Supergirl and Stargirl. Well, there you go. That is Breck's answer for any past character or any actors to come back to the Arrowverse. She would pick Melissa Benoit's Supergirl, which I think is a very good pairing because we have been wondering... You know, in the past, when are they going to do this crossover? Because it would be so cool to see them on screen together. And it seems Breck has always been in that same camp. But they just never got round to it by the time of Supergirl ending. Obviously, with Supergirl having ended last year, now Melissa is busy with her other show over at Warner Bros. TV. I think that's coming to HBO Max. I can't be entirely sure. But that means she is very busy. So it's unlikely that Melissa is going to come back. But as there has been some speculation online about with Todd Helbing, the showrunner of Superman Lois, basically saying that they could introduce a new Supergirl that isn't played by Melissa or the original Supergirl actor, that should they choose to continue with Supergirl's legacy in the Arrowverse but in a different way, they could totally recast her. And so if that was the case, maybe Stargirl could have a Supergirl crossover but just not with Melissa Benoist, but with a new version of Supergirl that potentially got introduced in Superman Lois's Earth. Obviously, we don't know exactly where Superman Lois's Earth is right now, but you can presume it is in the Arrowverse, it's connected, and somehow there could be a crossover between Superman Lois and Stargirl, and also Supergirl if Supergirl ever shows up again. So that pretty much does it for the Stargirl segment of this video. We're going to move on to another interview where David Ramsey's actually talking, and I'm reading an article from the Direct. I'm going to leave it in the description below. The title is Arrow vs. David Ramsey Teases His Green Lantern Future. And so let's scroll down on this article and actually see what David Ramsey is actually talking about in terms of his hopes of maybe a Green Lantern future. And so this is what David Ramsey said during a panel, and it was an Arrow panel at DragonCon that the Direct was in attendance of just earlier in the week. It goes like this. It's not resolved. Eric Wallace called me, showrunner of The Flash, and he had pitched me an idea to end the saga, the Green Lantern saga within the Arrowverse. And the reason why he did it was because the Arrowverse was ending, right? It's going to end with The Flash and all the other shows would go. I knew, but you didn't know yet, that Todd Helbing was going to reveal in Superman Lois that Superman Lois verse exists on another planet on a different Earth, and these characters are still alive. And the idea is perhaps that there's a world where we can explore the Flash, or maybe just Barry Allen. Maybe he is the Flash. Maybe he isn't. Is Oliver Queen alive? Maybe he is. Maybe the ring is still there. And so this is what he had to say. And then the actor explained that Superman and Lois could serve as a springboard to launch a whole new shared DC universe on television. So David Ramsey definitely has a lot of ideas about the future of the Arrowverse or the future of DC shows in general on TV. And obviously he's saying, like he said in that past statement just now that I just read, that potentially, you know, this is the end of the Arrowverse with the end of The Flash. 
that means that there's going to be no more and they're basically going to be starting anew, which is obviously a very bad statement because it's going to upset a lot of fans. It's very upsetting to read, but I guess that is the truth of what they're trying to do. But he goes on to say, you know, these questions where you kind of... It's almost a reboot. Superman Lois almost allows us to reboot the Arrowverse in a way that we didn't really think before. And when he revealed that, when Todd initially revealed that, there were a lot of moans and groans about, oh, we're no longer in the Arrowverse. But I think it was smart. This is what David Ramsey's saying. It was Greg Berlanti's brainchild, and I think it was smart because it allows us to grow outside of the Arrowverse, which we weren't allowed to do. So to answer your question, is that the ring? Is still around it exists in Superman Lois it's been denied the same way it was in the Arrowverse but John Diggle didn't go through the same thing so that is his answer in regards to the Green Lantern saga and it actually still existing on Superman Lois Earth so that's definitely very interesting and obviously what David Ramsey is inferring to is the fact that Superman Lois making this decision, in his opinion, is good. Obviously, for fans, it's not very good because they're retconning the Arrowverse. But David Ramsey is basically saying with this ability to redo everything that the Arrowverse has done before and go in different directions, he thinks he could potentially have a proper Green Lantern storyline if they want to do it at some point in the future. And it seems like David Ramsey is going to be somewhat involved in Superman Lois's future, probably showing up every once in a while, especially since they set up his link to Bruno Mannheim at the end of season two. And they just cast Bruno Mannheim recently for season two and Superman Lois has been filming for the past week. So definitely we're going to see more Diggle, but we're going to see Superman Lois's version of Diggle rather than the Arrow version of Diggle that we've been used to for all the years. So I would say right now I am kind of very much so in the opposite camp of David Ramsey. I do feel like, yes, it's exciting that we could have a potential like new Supergirl or something like that, but I don't think just retconning this and throwing away the Arrowverse is the best thing to do. I think the Arrowverse should still exist and Superman Lois should have its own superverse and do its own thing, but also be open to the opportunity to cross over with the other Arrowverse shows and not just be entirely isolated. I don't like that idea of the isolation of Superman Lois. And one final quote that the Direct got from that panel was that David Ramsey said, I want to be Green Lantern with a really good budget because the stories are going to be great because Greg is going to make sure they are. Now there is a Green Lantern story coming to HBO Max, just so you know, and I think, don't quote me on this, but I think that it's exploring Guy Gardner and Jessica Cruz and some others. The big properties of Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart are kind of still preserved. So yes, if we had an HBO Max budget or an even bigger budget, Superman Lois has a beautiful budget. You can see it in that show, in the production value. So if we had something like that, that is something that he would like to do. Now, I feel like David Ramsey has been very open. Normally at these panels, they aren't allowed to be that open, but I don't feel like he's contractually obligated to hold back anymore because he's not a series regular on any show. So he can give his opinion, and so that's why we have to take it with a grain of salt because he's been so open to the idea of all of this actually maybe happening in the future and being so opinionated about the Arrowverse. That's something that would never have happened in the past when he was on Arrow or something like that. But that's just the way it is now because the Arrowverse doesn't look like it's going in any kind of good direction because it seems they are creating this new Superverse. And some of the people behind the shows like Superman Lois are totally into this idea whilst still the fans are not into this idea but they're trying to convince us. But that pretty much does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, that would really help out the channel. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. Thank you.